Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are staying nice and warm and cozy wherever you are because I woke up this morning and that was like the only thing I had on my mind was like, when can I get my coffee? I'm so freaking cold. I'm just gonna get snuggled here real quick and then we're gonna have a little bit of a chit chat. I also feel like this is my Hexmas mug now unofficially because it's so dramatic and extra. Whenever I'm carrying it around, I don't know, I just feel super Super extra about it. It really can't hold that much. Like it seems like it does, but it really does not hold as much as my other mugs that I have, but I still love it. I just have a regular pumpkin spice coffee today. Not even a latte. There's no creamer, nothing in it. Like I said, I needed some warm coffee. That's all I wanted. You've probably already seen it all over Furl's Crochet's site. They have just launched two brand new colors in their Alpha Line series of hooks. Now, this line of hook is an absolute masterpiece. Like this is a work of art. And now that they've added this color combo, which is my all time favorite color combo, I mean, arguably, could be my favorite line of hooks that they have put out yet. The banner that's right on the front page of Furl's crochet site says limited edition acrylic and wood crochet hook in maple and black swirl and maple and red swirl. So now you know why I'm incredibly excited and I have one of each of them here. The boxes alone are stunning. Get that out of there. Stunning. I'm not sure which one is which on the back. They don't, they're not like the other boxes where they have like a mark of like what could potentially be in here. No, it is just the Furls Alpha series. It just screams inside. You will find an incredible piece of art. It's a collectible. I honestly would say I do use my Alpha series hooks, but these ones are, again, they're just extra special to me. So let's see which one we have first. We have the gorgeous velvet box on the inside. And this one is, we have the black swirl with the maple wood hook. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a second. This is incredible. The thing about these is it's incredibly light too. Every time I pick one of these up, I'm always shook by how light it actually is. I mean, we have the wood on each side, but there is the resin drop in the middle. And if you get real close up there, you see like the split wood actually has a little bit of that black resin there too. That is so fantastic. There is a stamp for the size that it is. We have a K for this one, so a 6.5 millimeter hook. The handle of this I find to be incredibly nice to work with. When I use it, it rests right here, and that's why I enjoy that on the bottom, there's a little bit more of like a decorative piece. It doesn't just finish off like a traditional hook on the bottom does. This actually feels really, really nice on your hand since it is, I mean, it is incredibly smooth, sanded down. It's not gonna irritate your hand when you're working with it for extended amount of time. So freaking gorgeous. Which means this one is going to be the red swirl. Oh, that is fantastic. This is an F size hook and that red, stunning. Every single one of these are entirely different. So this one even has a different handle on the bottom. Let me grab the black one again. I think it just adds a little bit more fun to it as well, that the handles are different. Still, they both have the rounded bottom, so it's gonna be nice and it feel really smooth when you're working with it. I grabbed a couple of skeins of yarn to test out here. We have the Wims Moreno in two different weights. So I have a DK weight and a worsted. This stuff is really cool because it's a Z twist and I feel like it works really, really well with wooden hooks. Then we have the Wander 100% acrylic, and this I just use every single day with every type of hook. It is 100% my go-to yarn. Basically, I don't know what I wanna make using this hook, so we're just gonna try a little bit of everything today.
I've officially decided the project that I want to make using the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and that is this specific cardigan right here. It is the slasher cardigan that I created. It is just such a cozy cardigan. Like it has a zigzag stitch piecing everything together, which I personally feel is one of the easier ways to piece cardigans together. It just allows you to not be like so perfect about everything. And I like the way that it's like super chunky. The seam is designed to be a part of the cardigan. And also it's just really comfy. Like really at the end of the day, it's just super cozy. And I freaking love it. So I'm gonna use the bright pink, the festival, and probably black. Like I'm gonna combine those two together. I'm gonna do this exact pattern. So this, or it's kind of like a little bit of a fishnet. And then we have some half double crochet here. I'm gonna follow exactly along, but the pattern that I wrote uses a five millimeter crochet hook, not a 6.5. So regardless, it's gonna be a little bit different. Now that I have it all set, ready to go, I do need to get ready. I have a live tonight since it is Wednesday. So I'm just gonna set everything up, turn the lights on, all of that, and start working on it. I, like, I literally just decided what I wanna do for my project tonight, 30 minutes before I start a live. That's how it happens sometime, and I'm actually gonna see how far I can get, which, often doesn't happen to be a lot because I like to chit chat on our lives. When the entire ghoul squad comes and hangs out, I like to chit chat quite a bit. So we'll see. Otherwise, I don't have a lot planned for the rest of the evening. So maybe I can get a little bit more done on this project. Maybe like one panel. If I get one front panel done tonight, I'd be really, really happy. I'm actually really glad that I changed my mind last minute. Yes, since this is a little bit bigger of a hook with the pattern that I'm using with it, it's gonna make it look totally different. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm obsessed with it even more. Like, okay, here is the size on the cardigan that I've already made. And now this one, I mean, it's a whole millimeter and a half bigger. It's totally gonna be different. And the fact that I have decided to do stripes it's not even gonna be like stripes really it's gonna be more color blocking because it's a seven row repeat now instead of just one color for the whole thing the hook with this festival colored yarn that barely picks up because it's so intensely neon in your face i cannot get enough of this yarn and i want this made into everything i've wanted a cardigan for a very long time so glad that we're finally here making one i did want to chit chat a little bit more about the ins and outs of this hook i just got really excited unboxed it and then i was like hey here it is look how gorgeous it is let's go ahead and actually use it the sizing that they have available starts at a 3.5 millimeter and goes all the way up to a 10 millimeter so for me that's perfect range sizing i really like to work with dk weight and worsted weight sometimes a bulky yarn so that 10 and 9 millimeter especially this time of year with everything getting a little bit colder chunky hats chunky fingerless mitts those sizes are really nice to have please note that this item is handmade and each hook will look slightly different swirling and wood to acrylic ratio will vary from hook to hook another thing that i find is charming about these hooks is that every single one of them is unique like I, like it says don't be alarmed that everyone is its own hook, its own personality, but I love that about it. If you do wanna travel with these because you're like, I love these so much, I want to order them and also use them every single day, including when I'm going out of my craft room and you know traveling around, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you grab one of these leather crochet hook cases. They look like this and it is a single crochet hook holder. It has a flap, you can place the hook inside. You can see it a little bit better on this tan version. And obviously they have two different versions, uh, black leather and then they also have this tan. Let's make sure both of them are in stock. Yes, both colors are in stock right now. Seven inch long holder and it closes. So like you could see there, 
there was a little clasp that runs across that you slip the top into. I always travel with one of these no matter where I'm going. Even if it's just outside to chill, sit on my patio, something like that, but I'm bringing it out every single one of them goes in this. Like this is the bare minimum of traveling for me. So I wanna make sure you know about this. They also do have a leather clutch. And this one for me is something that I end up using a little more often than the individual ones. However, since these ones are so freaking special, for me personally, I will use individual one so they have their own little padded protection all around it. There is this leather clutch and you can go ahead and open it up and you can fit a lot of them in here. How many is, does it say? Normally I have like five in there. It holds up to seven. There you go. You can hold up to seven furls hooks in here. There also is tan and black. Yes, there is the tan edition of this leather clutch. I have the black in both of these and they are always being used. Like seriously, always. So again, just wanted to let you know, throw that out there. If you are seeing these and you're like, okay, these are my hooks. Like I love these. These are now going to be my day-to-day -day hooks that I want to use. Definitely go ahead and look at the carrying cases too. Similarly to that, I keep all of my furls boxes. So when I'm not using them or they're not on display or I'm not traveling with them, they actually have a nice permanent home. I have a shelf that I can put all of them in so when they're not being used, they have their nice little area that they can rest in. Another bit of peace of mind for myself, knowing that they're going to be safe even when I can't actually see them. All right, ghouls, that is all for me today. Thank you for hanging out and checking out these brand new, incredibly stunning alpha hooks. Look how amazing that black swirl looks against the red cardigan too. Just total pieces of art. Uh, everything about the hook is linked down below. It'll take you directly to Furl's crochet page. One last thing I did want to chit chat about before I let you go. Don't forget about Furl's Black Friday sale. Right now they have the early access and the only way that you can get into it is if you sign up. I will also link that down below. Just like put your name in, email. I think that's all you have to do. Yeah, name, email, and then join the list. So they will send out an email saying, hey, the sale has officially started an entire week early so you can see all of the tidbits that are happening. This is one of my all-time favorite sales that happens during Black Friday because there, there's a lot of good stuff there. I have no idea what's happening for this year, but I'm really excited to find out. So just in case you want to put that on your calendar, you want to see what is happening and you want to see it even earlier than everybody else gets to see it, definitely go ahead and put your email in and get on their list. But that's it for me today, ghouls. So again, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.